Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a little fishing video today and uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to film all of it because I'm just running off on my phone and I don't even have a full charge. So we're gonna try to catch bits and pieces of it and take you along with us while we fish today. We're gonna be fishing a uh, two and a half mile stretch of the Roanoke River. We've got our uh, float tubes in the back here. These are fishing float tubes, kind of built like miniature pontoons and we're gonna do a little bit of um, spin casting throughout the next couple of hours with a friend of mine and uh, I'm just waiting on him here on the side of the road so he can follow me back to our parking location. So y'all stay tuned and see if we can't catch a few smallmouth today. All right guys, we made it to the the launching point. Here's my buddy Grant in the back. Hey You've seen him on one other video when we were hunting in the rain in a blind and uh, took a nice turkey in the fall. But today we're after smallmouth. What we're gonna do is um, be using some of these and I'm showing you the magic. Green pumpkin, ma green pumpkin magic. That tip's free. <laughs> and uh, that's that's what I use in the rivers for smallmouth most of the time. So we'll see if it if it works out today. I have several different color variations and um, one other bait to try when we get when we get going. But we have two and a half miles ahead of us, and we still have to blow up our tubes. So we're gonna get to work, and we'll see you on the river. Uh-huh. Alright, how much you want to bet I lose the tripod today? Uh I'll do my best to bet against you so that you, so you don't. We'll see. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Oh, but uh put the crocs in sport mode. Something like that. Yep. Well actually I'm wearing real tree slides. They're like crocs, but oh nice. They're like off brand. Yeah. If I ever pursue a so his has that nice little um, bar that comes out in front of you. Yeah. And mine didn't, so I just tied this ratchet nice. little Solid. string across here so I don't get lost from my tube. If I ever decided to pursue like a career in the outdoor industry, uh -huh. I would pursue a membership or a uh, sponsorship by Crocs first. Heck yeah. That's what I want to do. Oh, yep. It's going to get chilly. Oh, yes, indeed. And we're off. All right, guys. So we are going to float quite a bit of this and fish it as we move. But as we hit better water, we're going to go ahead and stop and pull the pontoons out of the water and fish it for real. Um, and uh, maybe do a little wading around. But a lot of this water can be skipped by and then you hit a few of the really good spots on your way down. And we'll be out here for probably three or four hours if we do it right. Yeah, so the bass that we'll fish, most of them will be in water about this deep. Some will be much deeper. Um, but what we're looking for is really structure. So, you know, stretch your line out, get a feel for what the bottom feels like in different places. But this is not, this is not a target rich environment. I say that and I have a fish on right now. Nice. First one of the day. Look at that. Not a target rich environment. Nice little small mouth you roll it? yeah, <laughs> yeah he's on camera pretty little thing chunky look at that sure enough man so that's pretty small but a lot of the fish that we're going to catch today will be roughly this size yeah. um but like i said we we'll catch several that are um two to three pounds as well yeah, we nice. we typically that's catch good. two or three 15 16 inch fish every time we come down here.
Well, that spot's normally a three or four fish hole. And I can't say I got that many bites, but definitely nothing that committed. We're gonna float down here a little bit. I'm gonna cut the camera and save some battery life. Okay, Grant. Yep, yeah, it looks like a little smally. Play him this way. Oh, you're right. That's crazy. Here, play him over here. That's big for one of those. No kidding. He's hungry. Whew, look at that. I'll let you deal with that. Oh, I'm hooked up. Hang on. I forgot yeah. about that. There you go. Appreciate it. I'll let you hang on to that. You can just clip it onto one of your little carabiner right. clips. Nice, dude. Good stuff. First fish. Yeah, fish on. Escape the skunk. Yeah, so now we're one apiece, and uh, we've been out here for probably close to an hour, and we probably fished twenty percent of our trip. That is that's. Really? Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Well, if you're gonna catch fish, I'll keep the camera running for a couple of minutes. See what I can do with it. Yep. That red eye was about as big as my smallmouth. Yeah. I've only ever caught two. Really? But that was definitely bigger than the first one. The first one looked like a bluegill when I hit it. Yeah. I watched it hit it. Yeah. We'll get a couple of those every trip, but um, not too many. And not, not that big. Most of them are much smaller than that. Plenty of time on one hole. We've got to make tracks. Yeah. Oh, dude, I think I pulled it out of one's mouth there. It was just sitting on the bottom. Oh, boy, almost snapped that one off. Felt like it wanted to pop. There we go. Yep, finally, dude. Nice. Finally, got the hook set. I think I'll be okay without it. Man. From, this is like the beginning of the better water on our trip, but gosh, that first half of the trip is always exhausting because you're just not catching anything. But once in a while, you will catch a couple good ones on that first half, so. Man, he's got it. There it goes. Another little one, about the same size as the first. Nothing to write home about, but they are fun. Oh, hey, man, guess what? I dropped my tripod at some point. No. Yeah. It'd be pretty easy to see in this water. When uh, you drug it down to me, did you ever pick it up? No. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up there and see if it's there. There it is, right there. Got it. Oh, uh, it's all good. We have it. Me too, yeah. Solid.
that almost looks like a uh, mother wood duck with a couple of ducklings. Grant says he's got a fish on, on the mini crankbait. I guess that means we're switching up the game plan. Maybe I'll do a little jerk bait or something. Got him. Finally. Oh, good one, too. You got the net? Nice one. You're not in a hurry. I think so. I'm gonna let you get downstream of them though, and I'll swing them. I'll swing them into you. Good stuff, man. All right, you ready? Yep. Nice, good net. Dude, perfect. Good fish, man. Whew, man, we should have had like six of these today. But yeah, that's a better one. Heck yeah. Let me go start fishing. Nice little fish. Yeah, be careful up there at the top because there's a bunch of like branches and sticks, but. Yeah, once you get right behind it, get him right in the sun. Oh, he's gorgeous, yeah. That is beautiful. I think I'm just going to snag this tree right in front of you. Yeah. When I break this, I'm about to break it off. Forget it. Shooey. I'm gonna tie one more time on, but I'm pretty close to ready to drift down to our destination. I, I think I told the wife I would be home by 2.30. Whoops. Yeah, so that was a lie. <laughs> Heck yeah, okay, yeah. Oh man, you didn't even give it a chance. Man, Another red eye. Those red eye are hammering it. Look at that thing. Hold like him up. Hammerhead looking red eye on For the camera. Come on now. Give me the oh, give me a lip. Don't hook yourself again. Ouch. Barbs are sharp. There you go. Nice. Good stuff, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just call me the red eye king. The red eye king. I need to take a look at this flip flop. Oh yeah, dude, look at this. I thought I could feel sand coming in through there. Oh yeah. That's a uh that's a right hole right there. Dang gummit. A right big hole. Dang man. Well, seven dollars well spent. I think I've got uh almost two years out of them. Nice. Yeah. I think I have one too. 
Oh, I just lost mine. You got a fish on? Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, it is. I um, I lost one while I was goofing around, not not being a good fisherman. Got him. Nice. Cool. Stick around, stick around. Another little guy. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it in a second. So we, um, I kind of misjudged the amount of time that we were spending stopping and going. But uh, we have about, I would say, a third of a mile left on our little trip. And it's 3.30. We thought we'd be out by 3 o'clock. But no problem. We have all afternoon. The only issue is my phone is about out of batteries and that's what I've been filming on today so I'm gonna keep it off for a little while and we're gonna float past a lot of water and not do a whole lot of stopping to fish and if anything exciting happens I'll try to get the camera back on there's probably an easier way to do that Oh no, it's not as big as I thought. I'm gonna bring him right to you. He's strong little fella. No kidding. There you go. Not bad. No sir. Hot dog. Man, he hit it and took off downstream, so I thought he was way bigger than that. He's oh, pretty. Yeah. He's, he's tiny. <laughs> Good oh, luck gosh. with that hook. Where's it at? It came out the side right below his eye and oh, yeah. almost back in. I saw the look here. Got it. That right there is probably the last fish of the day. Off he goes. Should have been throwing that all day. Took me a little while to figure out what they wanted. I'm running on like 5% battery. Yeah, but we got it. And right there is our exit at the railroad tracks. That's it. That's our bridge. Yeah, I think that's it right there. It's like that tall bridge you drive over before you get there. Oh, uh, stop. I'm not kidding. I think there's one more. I think he's right. We got one more to go. Man, I would never have thought I'd be about done fishing. I am so hungry. Fish on. Good. Yeah, buddy. Good fish. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll get the net. Oh, man, I was about to turn the camera off, too. Yeah, see what you can do with them. Oh, so nice. Oh, 
chilling now because that hook's got his Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Stuff. Dude, now that's a good one to end it on. Right there. Who says we're done catching fish, man? <laughs> I think your stomach says we're done catching fish. Gosh, it's so empty. Mine's it's about, probably it's never been about. more empty. First world problem. If you can get his gill plate loose we can mess with the net in a second you see it's yeah. barely snagged that'll be harder to get out than you think though i think don't shake on me oh he's got one in his pectoral fin too look at me with the big words pectoral fin look at you oh, i'm gonna need some pliers i think my fingers are too slick and these hooks are too there we go oh you got them nice that's pretty it is pretty. A Roanoke River Smalley. That's what we've been getting into today. Oh, off he goes. Energized. Well played, sir. I'll give you that. They're in there, man. All right. Now I'm done with the camera. Peace. We'll see you truck side. That probably sounded stupid. See you truck side? Just truck side. Oh, truck side. Shoo! What a day. Buddy Grant's leaving. Thanks for hanging out with us. That was fun. It took quite a bit longer than I remember. It was like a six and a half hour trip. And uh, we each caught probably six or seven fish. Um, man, the river has changed since the last time that I fished it a year ago. But definitely fun enough. As always, guys, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and God bless.